Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is John Gorham, and if you're an online teacher and you're looking for a way to distribute documents to each and every one of your students in your classroom, and then have your students edit each of those documents individually, this app is for you. And this app is called Doctopus. It's essential if you're an online teacher, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how you can download this to your Google Chrome extension as an add-on, and then exactly how you can set up your classroom so that you can distribute your documents. Let's get into it right now. So this is how to use Doctopus in order to distribute files to your students. And I'm going to show you exactly what my Google Sheets looks like. Uh, this is from one of my classes that's relatively small. And I've only got six students here. So I've blocked off their last names and their emails, obviously for privacy issues. So what you'll wanna do is open up your Google Sheets file in Google Drive, and you should have already populated your students by first name and last name, and also putting in each of the students' email addresses. So once you do that, and once you have your, your spreadsheet ready to go with your contacts, you'll go to where it says add-ons. It's at the very top, right next to help. So once you go to add-ons, uh, I've already got Doctopus downloaded already as an add-on here, but you would go to where it says get add-ons and that will take you to this screen here and just type in Doctopus. I think it comes up on the very first screen. You might not even have to type it in uh, into the search bar, but it's uh, Doctopus, D-O-C-T-O-P-U-S. And you can see I've already got mine installed, but uh, you wanna go ahead and install this add-on right here to Google Sheets. Now, once you have that, you'll go to Doctopus and you wanna go to launch and you're going to launch this and it'll basically, it'll just make a brand new um, uh, Google Sheets for you. And what I've done here is uh, you can see exactly, we got the first name, last name and email, and you're going to take the, uh, you're gonna take from your contact sheet, you'll copy each of the names and all of the, um, all of the email addresses as, as well. And then you'll paste the values only. So I've gone ahead and done this right here. So I've populated my, uh, my Doctopus sheet. And on the right-hand side, you'll see this, this um, window comes up and you'll, it'll take you through step-by-step step exactly what you have to do. So you want to distribute drive resources to a roster. This is working in your Google Drive folders right here. And what we need to do is uh, we're going to select one of the rosters and I haven't built this roster yet. So I will show you exactly what you have to do. First thing up, you've got to build a new roster. Okay. And we're going to set the roster name. It's already created from the, uh, from my list of students already. And I want to create a class folder for each of my students. And so what Doctopus is going to do, it's going to create a teacher's folder for you. Uh, a classroom edit folder, a classroom view folder, and then uh, individual folders for each of your students in the class. And it does it automatically for you. So um, once I hit uh, create and share these folders, it's going to create a student folder for each, uh, each student in your class. So you can see it, this takes a few minutes. If you got a big class, it's gonna take probably five, possibly 10 minutes for you to populate all of the folders, but it's going to create a folder for each of your students here. Okay, now uh, once you have created your folders, it's gonna ask you in step three, uh, you gotta set your sharing arrangement. So you can, let's say for instance, if you've got one document that you've created, a Google doc that you've created, and you want to, you want to hand out all of the, uh, hand one document to each of the students, you'd click on individual and all of the, all at the same time, they would, they would receive a copy of that document. Uh, you can also set this up where if you have groups, you can send it to just one student in a particular group. Uh, you've also got project groups, or you can do the whole class where the whole class would get one single shared copy of a doc, and then everyone can edit that, that document. Okay, so for this particular one, I'm trying to get a print or a Google Doc to all of my students in the class uh, about how to take Cornell notes. So I'm going to do individual all the same. And that's what I've selected right here. 
So I would go to, this is the document that I've created. It's called Cornell Notes Template. And I've placed this into my new Doctopus file here. So I've called my, my new Doctopus folder 2020 uh, PFC 01 theme C passport. And this is the document that I want to distribute to all of my students. Now, this is the same concept of just having a, uh, a master file, and then you would go to go to the printer and you would print off however many student, however many copies you need, uh, depending on how many students you have in the class. So instead of doing this, we're just doing this, we're printing this off digitally. Okay, so I've got my uh, Cornell notes template, and that is the, uh, the context sheet that I want to distribute it to. So that's ready to go. And we can also see that's the folder within, um, within my, my class folder here that's been created by Doctopus. Okay, so I've, uh, again, I've blocked out the students last names here. So once I've created this, uh, each one of the students will now have an editable document from the Cornell Notes template. So they've got this in their own personal folder and they've got editing rights to, uh, to type on this, on this document right here. Okay, so um, I've chosen the, uh, the assignment template. That's, uh, I've chosen the folder that I want it to go into, which is the teacher folder. And now I'm going to select the resource here. And we just looked at that a second ago. The, the resource is the, the document, the Cornell Notes template. This could potentially be a Google Slides presentation. It could be a, um, it, it could be a, a PDF, any kind of file that you want to send to all of your students. In this particular case, I'm just sending them a Google Doc for them to edit. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is how do you want, to, uh, how do you want the students' files named? Uh, last name, first name, and then it's going to be Doctopus theme. So uh, once I decide on how I want to name it, that looks good to me. And then I'll say uh, save and continue. Okay, so please review your settings. So before you send this out to all of your students, then you will get the option to review exactly what you're going to do. And I can see that I'm going to send out six new student resources. Uh, it will be delivered to each of the students' folders that I've, that I've created here with Doctopus. And um, with the author access, each student can allow, uh, they're able to edit each of the files. So class access, that means no access for this one. That means that only the individual student can see what they're typing here. So it won't be shared with any, anyone else except for me. And we can see the template that I used is from my Cornell Notes template. Notifications, I said I don't need to notify my students right now. Okay, but if you're in class and you want to make sure that everybody in class gets a it gets an email notification, then you can always turn that on. So I'll go ahead and click on Run, Copy, and Share at the bottom. You can see that I'm uh, Doctor Puss has now completed two out of six right here. I've blocked off again the students' names. It'll tell you exactly whose document is being created, and we can also see that within the Google Sheets. It's created. Um, it's it's starting up a, a file name for each of the students, and then a link to that file for me to be able to edit that, to be able to uh, mark what the students have typed. And now I've got six out of six. This takes just a little bit of time because it's going to create a. It's going to copy um, one. Uh, it'll make a copy of my template and place it into each of the students' folders here for them to be able to edit. All jobs are completed right now. And then what you can do is you can add on another very good, um, it's another good add-on here. It's called Gubrick. And so it'll give you the option to add this one on. And this way you can see what your students are typing and uh, you can give them a grade. You can mark it right here. It, it puts a, a rubric directly into your folder here. And then once you're done, uh, I don't have this set up here with this particular picture, but if you look off to the right, um, you can see if the student is has edited edited the file. And then once you're finished giving that student a grade, you will see the 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 grade or the score will be populated on this sheet as well. So this is how you can use Doctopus to distribute your files for all of your students. 
And it is absolutely essential. If you really want to be able to do this properly and be an online teacher, this is one that I highly recommend. Okay, so this was how to use Doctopus to distribute files for your students. I really hope that this was helpful. And if you did find this helpful, um, please give me a, a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to as well. I would really appreciate it. And if you have some other suggestions on some things that you would like to see on how to do, I would be absolutely happy to, to create another how-to for, um, for another add-on or for another piece of technology that you'd like to see. So thank you very much, you guys. And I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you.